This is all I do all day long is take care of people. And so if, if the, this vaccine is going to help keep people out of the hospital, keep them safe, keep them from getting sick and dying, um, that's my job. That's what I'm here for. Happening right now at 830, the coronavirus situation in Arizona is the worst it has ever been. And tonight, health officials are pushing hard right now to speed up vaccination efforts. And a Chandler doctor is warning that the opportunity to begin vaccinating his own patients. But when could that finally begin? Brittany Thomason looks into that for us tonight. If your primary care physician tells you that you, you need your, your vaccination, then I think you're far more likely to listen to that person because he's the one who's taking care of your health generally. For more than a decade, 73-year-old Richard Felnagel has gone to Dr. Andrew Carroll for medical needs, including vaccinations. That's why he hopes Carroll, his family doctor, will be the one to give him the COVID vaccine. They keep a record of it. I know if I have any adverse reactions or problems, I can call them. They will know me. Dr. Carroll agrees. The person that you want to consult uh, the most is the one that you trust the most, which tends to be your family physician. Right now, Maricopa County says it mostly has the Pfizer vaccine, which requires special freezers because it needs to be kept at negative 94 degrees. Dr. Carroll spent $4,500 on this freezer specifically to keep the Pfizer vaccine that cold but he still has not been able to get any doses. There are a group of healthcare workers that are waiting uh, to get the vaccine so that more people get it. But honestly, if I could get it, I could convince those people to get the vaccine. The county says handouts to primary care providers depends on production of vaccines and when it can get more. I think most physicians uh, really feel that they're the ones that should be delivering vaccines. We um, are the ones who coach our patients through all kinds of preventive care, and vaccines is one of those avenues of care. As for Felnagel, now begins the waiting game. I will wait. Mm -hmm. It'll be tough, but I'll do it. Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.